Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 117. I'm Nate Moore. Today we're going to talk about speedometer charts. I have kind of a sample here, and all I want to do in today's video is just kind of show you some of the options and the way we can tweak this and play with it. A speedometer chart, like the thermometer charts we looked at last time, are just a simple way to show one variable. In this case, hey, we're at 35%, and then we can do some things around that. We can put good, okay, poor, low, medium, high. There's some things we can put on the speedometer and we can change colors and make things uh, pretty customized. Let me just show you some of the things we can do to play with it. First thing we can do is we could obviously change this number. And if we're 66% of the way there, or we're 2% of the way there, or we're 89% of the way there, we can make this needle point whichever way we want. We can change the size of the needle. If I make it 10 instead of 4, you'll see that all it's doing is it's making this a lot wider here. And if I go back to something like 1, then it's so small that it's really hard to see. So for me, four is about right for this speedometer. And then we can, ease, let's move it back to something like 45% and call that good. And then let's, uh, you, let's tweak these ranges, if you will. And that's what I have over here. Notice that 45 plus 90 plus 45 is where my core OK and good go. Those don't add up to 100%. What they're adding up to is 180. What I've really got is a donut behind this chart and I'll show you how that works in the next video but what I want to show you this time is just how you can change this line between red and yellow and yellow and green so for example if I made this 30 let's just do that now I can say alright you know poor is not very much and we could make the good section take up 120 we could do something like that and now I've got 30 for 30 here 30 here and the whole 120 up here in OK. And if you'd rather have low, medium, and high for your labels, that's easy to do too. And if you say, now nah, I want this back to 45 and 90, there you go. And that's kind of what I want to, sh to show you today. There's a whole bunch more to it. Part of it is getting this stuff set up right. And that's what we're going to spend uh, the next Excel video on, is getting this data set up right so that then we, when we're charting stuff, we can move one, two, three, four numbers and get it to do exactly what we want it to do and I can show you some of the ways we can customize it. That's what I wanted to show you today. Stay tuned next time. We'll move a little further on the speedometer thing and go through these numbers. Thanks for watching.